Jehovah. He loves me. With him I've spent eternity. Answering the call, amen. Yes, yeah. truly, truly. I sent a letter a few weeks ago, and I, I think he probably just got it. But in his receiving the letter, he received it as a mission from God. Yes. And a man of God, when he gets a mission from God, he cannot <laughs> refuse the mission. He may try. He might take a ship heading to the upper, opposite direction. <coughs> but in the end, yes. the will of God yes. must be done. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So church, stand with me, please. And welcome Pastor Showin Bono. Bono in Jesus' almighty name. Pastor Showin Church, still Pastor Showin. Before Jehovah's all In the sense that we say with joy Hello, he brought 
said to the elder that uh, Mother Wright invited me to speak and she said yes I, I like my Mother Wright it's so nice and clean and, and, and you, you got real and Mother Wright and I grew up together and, and, and we come from the same home and it's a lady living in Boston Mother Wright and, and she spoke very highly about you to, to the Bishop praise God to, to the Bishop to the right Honorable Dr. Derek Kingston uh, 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 Dr. Flav here in the back. How are you doing, girl, my friend? Uh, 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 to 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 lead a cell win. To to all uh, the friends that I didn't see for a while. Uh, uh, to the pingers. Uh, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, uh, to my son Justin Bonneo in the back there. You know, um, if you can't rule your house. How can you rule the house of God? Come on, somebody. Let me touch on my son. He's 22 years old. And, and stand up, Justin. Let us see you. 
and and and, and uh, he he just graduated and, and he's looking for a, a, a job. So anybody know anybody who's need into the financing and accounting field, just remember Justin Bonnier. Hallelujah. And but anyway. Sit down, son. Yes, praise God. We have come here today and uh, for revival, not so? Amen. And uh, revival means that you had to be someplace before you went back or something must have happened and you need to get to that particular place that, that you were before. And so, the, the saints at Mount Nebo has uh, sent out a call. And when the letter came, uh, you were uh, invited to come speak. Uh, uh, I, I I was like, oh my God, oh my God, because mother right, I'm supposed to be in New York City Transit right now, you know, working. But God is the one that provided the, the, the place of employment, so I must come to do his will. I must come to do his bidding. And so we are here today to talk about uh, uh, about uh, revival. And, uh, and as we have it, somehow I, I wrote all over and I don't even know what I wrote and what I did not write. But God is good and his mercies endure it forever. Amen. See, the word revival has to do with uh, uh, regenerate, reinvent, revamp. Uh, dude, there was a time in Europe called the Renaissance period when, when things were at a really dull, dull time and art and uh, architecture, was, people just wasn't doing the right thing. And, and folks like uh, Pablo Picasso and, and Claude Monet and Vincent, Vincent uh, Van Gogh, they came on the scene and things have picked up and now you have uh, masterpieces because uh, of a revival. Hallelujah. Just imagine there was a story where a husband and a wife and their little young son were in the house and they had a swimming pool. The father thought that his son was with his mother. And the mother thought that the son was with his father. The next thing they knew was that their son was laying, floating in that pool. And those of us who are mothers and fathers are here. Can you imagine if that was your son? Or your daughter laying in that pool, lifeless. And so the EMT was called and they tried to give him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. To no avail and the boy lost his life. They wanted to resuscitate and revive him and so the folks at Mount Nebo under the leadership of Mother Wright has uh, recognized that there is a need for a resuscitated uh, bunch of people in Mount Nebo. So Mother Wright, I have come here to report for duty. If you are or have been married for a long time like, like some of us, there comes a time when you need to just pick up your wife or your husband, get dressed. 
And go on a cruise later, Derek. He just came for one. Because you need to sometimes uh, uh, renew your relationship with your significant other. Because sometimes you get a little complacent. Sometimes uh, the tempter comes and crosses your way. But like the hymn writer says, yet he may not prevail. And so we have a, 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 a sometimes a, you may stumble and you may fall and sometimes you, you may drop out and sometimes there are runners in the church I spoke about it last week and the runners are, are you are looking at one beloved yes you are looking at one and sometimes you get you get really mad you don't like how the pastor preaches and, and, and he rusts up and you don't like the mother in the church and you don't like this one and you don't like the one that sits next to you and they always come early and takes up your seat and so you get mad and you leave So the folks at Mount Nebo has recognized this. And so they have sent out a lesson written by a man called Luke. Luke, uh, the 10th chapter, verse 20. For a long time, I, I, I believe that uh, Luke was one of the disciples, beloved. And then my son Justin came up with a, a, a sermon that says that Luke was a, a disciple of Paul. He was a physician by profession. He wrote the books of the Acts of the Apostles. And he wrote this book in which we are going to read here now, the 10th chapter of Luke. Verse 20, and since this is God speaking, not Sherwin Borneo, this is God speaking, we're going to pay reverence to God by standing. Praise God. Amen for that. You can say, when I speak, but when the man above speaks, we need to stand and pay him homage. The 20th verse says, Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice. Rejoice, Mount Nebo. Rejoice, Spirit of Faith Baptist Tabernacle. Amen. Rejoice. To all church and chapels and gathering that may, uh, may come here this evening to proclaim the name of Jesus. Rejoice because your names are written in heaven. The book of Isaiah says the grass will withers and the flower fades. But the word of our God shall stand forever. Glory be to the Father. Christ, uh, the, the young lady sitting here in the blue hair tie, uh, this coming up to will be 34 years that uh, God has loaned her unto me. Uh, 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 she, she's the one that takes all the buffing off from me and all that. Oh God, get up. 
<laughs> and so we are here. And uh, the, the team of the, the, the revival is, uh, um, do you have a reason to rejoice? Come on now, ask yourself the question this evening. Do you have a reason to rejoice? And I, 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 I looked at the word rejoice since it sticks out very predominant. And the word rejoice means to feel or to show that you are very happy yes. about something Hallelujah. it means to crow to delight to exuberate to 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 glorify to be jubilant to be joyful to be triumphant we're talking about uh, rejoicing this evening and, and as the lesson have it that 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 jesus was at a particular place and he he commissioned 70 disciples to go do his work. And he sent them out peer by peer. One by one, two by two. Jesus called them. Oh, oh, Jesus called them by the number. Come on now. And, 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 and as he called them to go do his work, he sent to them, go. And if he, 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 he said go without purse and go without script. And if he was saying it now, he would have said go without your iPads and go without your Michael's course pocketbooks, my brother Christopher. And go without your, your Gucci bags uh, uh, in order to do the Lord's work. And they went out uh, because Jesus said that, 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 that the harvest truly come on it, 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 it is ripened it is ready it is full but 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 Jesus there's a conjunction there Jesus says but the laborers how we pray that the, the, the Lord of the host uh, the host of the harvest will be able to somehow gather more laborers are you ready this evening? And as faith would have it after a while when the, the, the dolls that were commissioned, the 70, did what they had to do. They went and they preached and wherever they were accepted, Jesus said, just dust your feet. And just walk away. Because I'm here to tell you that during your, your, your time as a Christian, you are going to get rejected. During your time as a Christian, you are going to get spat at. During your time as a Christian, you're going to get rejected even sometimes by your husband and your wife. Yep. Even sometimes by the children that you gave birth to. And the disciples came back to Jesus and they were so exuberant. They were so joyful. They were rejoicing and they said, Master. Oh my God, Master, I wish you were there. Because if you see what we did there. We, we were able to, to convert souls. We were able to hold the serpents and the scorpions, as you said. And oh, we were able to, to cast out devils and demons. But the only way we were able to do it, once we did it, in your name. That's why Paul writes, at the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. At the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he, Jesus, is God. He is Lord. And we were able to do that and so they were rejoicing. 
And Jesus said to them, Listen, fellas. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. Do not rejoice at this. Like we see in Trinidad Tobago, this is a nice small thing. <laughs> that is petty thing. Rejoice because your names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Yep. And so this evening we still deal with we dealing with revival and Paul writes in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 2 and be not conformed to the dwell but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We 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 deal in it revival. And so this evening. What is it? Do you have anything to be re to rejoice about? Mm. We should rejoice because we we have that unhindered, unfettered access into the kingdom of God. Even though we are not Jews, and my name is not Shawinovitz. Uh, uh, I still belong to the commonwealth of God. Hallelujah. Even though I don't belong to the commonwealth of Israel, I still belong to the kingdom of God. He's my Jesus. And my Jesus, some 700 years before he came, a uh, man named Isaiah wrote in the ninth chapter, Verse 6 says, For unto us a child is given, and he shall be the Prince of Peace, a wonderful counselor, and the government shall be on his shoulder. Some 700. God knew exactly what he was doing. We're not talking about the Viking Vike God here that does things haphazardly. God plans everything. That's why the prophet Jeremiah writes, from the moment I was placed in my mother's womb. Yes, man. Yes, man. He knew me. And even though during your, my past life, when my mommy came to me and said, why don't you accept Jesus? I laughed at him. God knew that one day, boy, you'll be in Mother Rice Church speaking at a revival from the moment he was placed in your mother's womb. God ordained you to what? You Ah, to be. Amen. All you gotta do is uh, the scripture says a knock. The door shall be open. Ask Jesus. Seek, 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 seek. Oh God, and you shall find the same
Yes. My Lord. Jesus. And the thing about this Jesus, and I'm, I'm going to be very selfish about him this evening. Yes. Call him my Jesus. Yes. I don't know about you, but he's my Jesus. Yes. Because he, hmm. even though my sins were red as crimson, Somebody. My Jesus has made it whiter than snow. Even though, even though I did all kinds of wrongs, uh, Jesus has forgiven. My Jesus has forgiven me. And what I like about it, he has thrown it in the back of me, in my past. So even though you may judge me and see, what am I trying? That's you. You can stay back there with my past. Amen. I'm moving on Amen. with my Jesus. Amen. Because he has thrown it in the sea of forgetfulness. Come on, I'm talking about my Jesus. He, he, he came... And while he was at the garden of Gethsemane and he, he prayed to Jesus, he prayed to his father and said, Father, yes. if it is thy will, remove this cup from me. And the book says that he, he, he became so, so deeply involved in it that he sweat blood. And I shouldn't call him my Jesus. And after that, he, he, he volunteered to, to, to go on a cross, to, to die on, on, on a, a wooden cross on Calvary, to shed his efficacious blood so that our sins, our sins can be washed away. What can wash away my stain? What can make me whole again? Come on now. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. How precious is the flow that makes me white? I snow, no other fault I know. Come on, nothing but the blood. And when, when Jesus died, uh, uh, and, and the disciples were walking, uh, and, and they said, somehow, they, by the way they are walking and talking, they are part of it. And so the word Christianity came about. Christianity is not about do. Christianity is about done. Because yes. yes. when Jesus was about to leave, he said, It is finished. Yes. Yes. It, is yes. it is done. It is over. I paid already what I came here to do. Uh, uh, he placed me in his body in the church. He gave me, he gave us gifts. To enable his will. And so I'm celebrating. I'm rejoicing. And, and what, what I am even rejoicing more about it. Before he left he said. I go and I prepare a place. And, and so even though things may be bad here. And even though you may not have a card like the color of mother rice hair tie. <laughs> and even though there's a man that used to live in Manhattan, he lives in Washington now that doesn't like us. And even though he thinks he's all powerful, Amen. he's not more powerful than my Jesus. Amen. And even though he may pass all kinds of bills on his own, my Jesus has a way of fixing it. My Jesus has a way of giving me eternal security. My Jesus, you see, your names are 
written your names are are all written in heaven you see 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 when i was born on the 4th of october 1964 on a sunday afternoon uh, 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 jesus was there No, I'm here to reflect his light. Jesus. The sun, the S-U-N as we know it, reflects a light, it shines its own light. And in the night time, the moon comes out and reflects the sun's light. And so this evening, we all are to know that we are reflectors of the S-O-N's light. We need to rejoice for it. He died for me. He saved me. He prepared a place for me. He 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 gives me a place to serve on see see one of these days he's coming back. And this is where the seriousness comes in. The hymn that we stop, the little sanky that we sing says, Would you be ready? Would you be ready? Would you be ready when the bridegroom comes? And we can rejoice yes. this evening because we're not in the Morgan Kings County. We can rejoice because uh, we're not laying in a cemetery like, like my mommy. Mother, right, I lost my mother last October and uh, I, 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 I had the opportunity, she called me and she prepared everything and she said when you reach before the cemetery, shout me straight to the grave and we did it to the letter and I barely shed a tear. You know why, Mother Right? Because I knew the life that Mommy lived, uh, 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 one that she had a close-knit relationship with she, Jesus. No, not she, Jesus, with my Jesus, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, mommy, I, I've taken away that from you this evening, girl. It's my Jesus. And 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 she she mother right, if there is a heaven, come on, listen to my words now, Mother Right. If there is a heaven, I know my mommy is there. Oh, she's there waiting. For when the trump, oh, yes. Yes, man. the book says that the trumpet shall songs and the dead in Christ will arise. Oh God, and those who are still here, where people will be plowing the field together, one will be left and one will be taken up. Oh, come on, by my Jesus. And, 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 and I'm thankful, I am thankful and I want to rejoice this evening because I, 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 I belong to, to, to a faith that I can worship with and I can feel proud and I can, uh, there is a certain connection and I can make it very quickly with my Jesus. Yes, and we may look a little out of sorts sometime and, and uh, the, the, Sunday I found out that a person that I know comes right across the street to visit and knows us because of my wife's head tie. Because we are a peculiar people. And we have a way 
how we just made we direct connection with, with Jesus. We know how to rejoice. Listen to this. Still away. Come on, help me. Still away. Come, church. Still away. to the master and even though some other denominations may criticize us mother right there were some of the pastors that 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 they come to people like mother right like Nicodemus in the middle of the night and mother I need to fast it's only for a couple of days now, mother, but I need to fast. No, you come to moan. <laughs> because we don't know it, but they know the value of what we got. So don't be ashamed, beloved. Rejoice. Oh, yes. And be exceedingly glad cause uh, you belong to the order of Melchizedek come on now uh, and, 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 and the book of e the book of Ephesians the second chapter the 19th and 20th verse said that Jesus Christ uh, himself being the chief 
cornerstone, my Jesus. The chief cornerstone. See, 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 you can, you can, you, you, you can rejoice loudly. Sometimes you don't want your neighbor to know that you're rejoicing. For they not to say that you, you, he's showing off. And she's showing off. And what she think it is? So sometimes you might be right there on the train. And you might be right there. And they don't know that you are rejoicing because you're doing it silently, but sometimes it just slips out. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Help me grow it now. you are just not in the race. Sometimes you dropped out. You think you may not be in it. But God has a way of, of, of dealing with the runners. Mother, right? He keeps pricking their heart and making them miss this worship that we have. And then when you're home on a Sunday and you're laying on the bed and you're tossing and you're turning. Remember Revelation, I'm coming down. Hmm. Verse 13, verse, chapter 13, verse 8, and it says, And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, mm -hmm. whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of 
the world, bro. Hmm. Whatever you do, make sure that your name continues to be in the Lamb's book of life. I don't care what you do. Make sure. Hmm. And like Paul writes, I have run the race and I, I he, 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 he fought the fight. And he has finished his course. He said, just as he was about to die, would you be able to say it when you hmm. about to go with your maker? Jesus. Each day we live, hmm. just one day closer to the grave. <laughs> Each day we live is one day closer to meeting Jesus, to being at the grave. Are you ready? Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Because great is your reward in heaven. In Jesus' almighty name. Praise God. Praise God. Before I leave, I, I just want us, my friend in the band there, I'm so proud of you, girl. Amen. Oh my God. I know her just about since he was yeah. she, she was knee high to a short grass supper. <laughs> And now look at her. Oh, you saw me smiling at you, right? I am proud of you, girl. Proud. The tempter is gonna come your way. Oh, yeah. Jesus. That he may not prevail. Praise God. Thank you.
the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord? I don't want to stop before my time. I heard, let me give greetings unto the Lord of my life. The God of my salvation, the God that saw it fit to wake me up this morning, hallelujah. The God who said in Lamentations, hallelujah, that morning by morning new mercies I see, hallelujah. Great, great, great. that he so rightly deserves. We praise the Lord. Give an honor to our bishop, we praise God. Give an honor to the angel of this home. Glory and honor unto you. Because the word declares to give honor to your parents. Hallelujah, your father and your mother. To the house of Mount Nebo, greetings in the almighty name of Jesus, our soon coming king. To our pastor that spoke before me, Jesus Christ, why couldn't I be on time? I'm <laughs> That's all right. Like, come on. I'm sitting in my seat and I'm like, first of all, I can't sing. I tell you that one time, but I love to sing, eh? <laughs> Praise God. And I'm one, one of those one. people that can't sing that sings the loudest. Hallelujah. Right. Yeah. Praise God. Right. Oh, I got some non singers in the house. We praise the Lord. You see, I'm not ashamed. I don't care because my Bible told me, make a choice, oh Lord, unto the Lord. Salvation. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, he had to sing for me. We praise oh. God. You can't get everything. Dr. Flavor Felix in the midst of one who I look up to very much. We praise God, especially when it comes to rightly dividing the word of truth. You know, I called her the last time that I spoke. I was like, this is a flavor. How did I do? You know, and she had to give me some constructive criticisms. Hallelujah. To my mom who traveled with me and my daughter. Greetings in the almighty name of Jesus. I'm going to get all together. My bishop, how are you? God bless. Long time no see. So that's enough of that. We praise God. So I have to, you know, I was reading one day and I, it, uh, it, uh, on the internet it said an open confession is good for the soul. It's not scriptural. It's just a saying. We praise God. So I got to confess before I say anything. All right. I am a secret stalker of Mount people. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Man, when they asked me for my name and number, first of all, I said, Sister Camille. We praise God. Yeah. And then I was like, I called my girlfriend. I said, Allison, you didn't tell me. They asked me for my number. She keep calling me, she said, Camille, you get a letter? No, you know that they ain't coming or stalking because Mount Nebo is a place built on the word. We praise God. Amen. And I don't think they just have any old body standing there podium, hallelujah. Amen. It's got to be somebody who knows a little bit about the word. We praise God. Amen. So man, when I got that letter and I saw that green and white, hallelujah. <laughs> what? I saw it sitting on my seat and I was like, oh God, Jesus, thank you. But then the nerves start to kick in. Yes. But yes. well, why go say to people in Mount Nebo, they have my sister back there, that when she start to preach, so she does throw down everything. Oh, Lord Jesus, give your daughter a word. Yes. <laughs> and I thank God that I think he heard my prayer. Amen. So my confession is I do stalk you. We praise God. Yeah. <laughs> praise the Lord. Yes, I do. Yeah. So 
I read the text and I saw the, te the theme. And it said, do you have a reason to rejoice? And I said to myself, do I have a reason to rejoice? So a question was asked, so an answer had to be given. Hallelujah. So my subject today, based on the theme, is that I have a reason to rejoice, and it's called my salvation. Hallelujah. The word of God says that our name, our name, will be written. Yes. Oh my God. Y'all ain't got the, y'all don't understand what this rejoicing about salvation is. Salvation means that you, all your sins, everything that you have done is now cast away and you are a new creature. Hallelujah. Man may not forget, but God, man may forget, but God, I'm sorry, man will not forget. But God yes. cast it into the sea of forgetfulness. Yes. Yes. Every time you see a brethren, she used to do this, she used to do that, ba 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 ba. But now I go to them, how you like me now? Come on. How you like me now? I am washed in the blood of Jesus. I'm standing on the solid rock. Hallelujah. I fear no foe with thee and hands to bless. The Lord is my life and I'm my salvation. Whom shall I bear? I am a new creature. I live in this world, but I am not of this world. Hallelujah. So when you want to talk about me, my brethren, my brethren, check me now. So God, I question God on what should I bring? And he tell me, talk on Acts chapter 3, also written by Luke the doctor. And I said, Asha, but before you bring something, you got to question yourself and make sure that you ain't going to be stepping on your own toes when you, listen, when you, you speak. <laughs> so I'm not going to ask you to turn with me. I actually printed it out when my printer started working. <laughs> so Acts chapter 3 verses 1 to 10, but I'm just going to read 7 and 9 for you. Again, it was written by Luke, and it was based upon Peter and John. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and bones received strength. And he, leaping up, stood. And you want to complain to everybody that passed by? Hallelujah. Because you see, in those days, when you sat at the gate, you were a beggar. And people who passed by were uppity, so they would give you money to make themselves feel good. Yes. But this day, a man named Peter came along. Peter, yes. And a man named John came along with him. And the man said, Hello, my brother. <laughs> Can you give me a little change? Hallelujah. Because all these people are passing me by and they're not giving me any assistance. They pass me by, they watch me in my face, and they give me nothing. Peter, the Bible declares that he stared at him. Hmm. I wonder why people, why Peter stared at him. Hmm. I think maybe because he wanted to see if he had enough faith to be healed. Mm -hmm. So Peter said to him, look here, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I give unto you. He 
stretched out his hand and he took him and he told him, stand. Yes. Mount Nebel. Mount Bethel. Church is in the home. Stand up. Shake off thy drowsy nature sleep. The Bible declares that when he stood up, his bones were made strong. Hallelujah. Paraventure, maybe Peter was thinking of the day when he saw the Lord walking on the water and he said, Lord, if it be you, call me and I will come. So you've got to imagine the man might have been a little unstable on his feet because these are the first steps that he's about to take. And I'm only imagining in this mind that he must have been saying, Lord, in this Four years away. And he took his few steps, hallelujah. And he gained his strength, hallelujah. And now he could walk a little bit stronger, hallelujah. He could walk a little bit faster, hallelujah. We praise the Lord. And he can bow before his God, hallelujah, and tell the Lord of his transgressions, Jesus. He can tell him how he has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. He can tell him how his sin arise, hallelujah. He can tell him how he hid the sin that made him born, hallelujah. You see, when you were lame in those days, <laughs> If you had a spot or a blemish, hallelujah, you were not able to enter into the temple, hallelujah. The Leviticus tells you, hallelujah, that you had to look perfect, hallelujah. You couldn't even have a flat nose, hallelujah. They were not going to let you enter in, hallelujah. But because of Jesus, hallelujah, and him crucified, hallelujah, I have a reason to rejoice, hallelujah. Let me tell you something. The people that passed him, Christians, Christians, Christ-like, they passed him at the gate. Nowadays, we want to judge everybody. We don't want if you're not in our clique, you're not in it with us, hallelujah. You're not worthy anymore, hallelujah. So now you got to stand alone, blessed Lord. But let me tell you something, brethren. The Lord promised that he will never leave you or he will never forsake you. He said he'll be your very present help in times of trouble, hallelujah. He said he will be your rock in the weary land the shelter in the time of storm. Shall we praise the Lord? I got a reason to rejoice. So now, now when the people saw him, they marveled at that. And the Bible tells us in Luke, that's not what you're supposed to be marveling at. Imagine that. You're not supposed to be happy because of the words, because Jesus promised it. He said, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. You see, when the disciples were doing their work in Luke, they must have been looking at the 91st Psalm, saying, I will tread upon the liar and Adam, the young lion and dragon, shall I trample under feet, hallelujah. But Jesus was trying to explain to them, 
Those things are insignificant because it have a lot of people who look so hallelujah, who do things proclaiming it's in the name of Jesus. And I don't know, I think they say the name backwards, hallelujah. <laughs> so when they saw him, hallelujah, at the gate called beautiful, we praise God. They marveled at him. And now, let me tell you, this is why Jesus, when he got, when he was in the temple and he healed the sick, that's why they came after him. Mm. Because you're not supposed to touch the sick because you're not clean, we praise God. Mm. But now this man was washed and he didn't need anybody's help anymore. We praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So now I'm gonna skip some of my notes because we had a wonderful speaker before us. I just want to tell you this evening that salvation is full and free. Come on. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Free. Sit up, Peggy. Full and free. And free. Yes. When you know Jesus like this man did, the lame man did, you can go for yourself. Yes. I got a secret to tell you. The biggest Obia man there is, Jesus. J E S U S. You don't have to go to nobody else but ask him to saturate you in his blood. That's all you gotta do. Direct access. Tell Satan, move out of your way. The sank is a move, sit and move, let me pass. Move, sit and move, let me pass. I am on my way, I'm sit and stand to fight. Oh, move, sit and move, let me pass. Move, let me pass. Move, sit. to rejoice. I want to tell you why God put this lesson for me. Mm. When I was nine years old, I went to the church named Mount Bethel with my mom. And a few months after being there, I tell my mom I want to be baptized. So she said, why are you too young? I said, no. I love my Jesus and I got to be with him. Yes. And uh, the other day we were reflecting 41 years after the fact. Yes, I'm 50. Yeah. <laughs> I know a little. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, um, Mom, when I went into the water, I was number one. Hmm. So I banned my eyes and so forth. That is $10 because that is not Jesus calling. We praise God. <laughs> <laughs> So I went into the water, and I don't know if the baptizer was new or what, but I got away in the water. Eyes banned, don't know what's going on, drowning, floating, going, just water trashing me and throwing me, and then I just felt a hand pick me up and pull me out, hallelujah. And they say to me, number one, you still want to go? Yes, sir, I love my Jesus. But ah, uh, Christian people, make your heart, make you ponder sometimes. And for 40 long years, I sat around and got ticked off and stepped back and stepped forward and stepped back and stepped forward. And, but now, but now, you can't move me. Now is the appointed time. I shall be like Mount Zion. Shall not be moved. I will be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. 
that I, Camille Garner, will bring forth my fruits Amen. in my season. Amen. Amen. So in conclusion, my brethren, mm. Mm. salvation is my reason my to rejoice. Yeah. Yeah. Never get weary yet. Never get weary yet. Oh, never get weary yet. Oh, Lord. such a mysterious way yes. his wonders to perform he plant his footstep on the sea and ride on the sea. you know when pastor Sherwin called me and he said mother ride I said yes he said I got a letter and I'm coming I just burst into smile <laughs> and I was just feeling happy, 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 happy. You see, Daniel said the vision is true. Yes. But the time yeah, appointed is no I remember himself and his wife came here. That was years, a couple of years going by. And the members love him and we talking to him and thing. And we asked him, I don't know if you could remember, we asked him if he can come and say something, I think it was a revival too. And he sat so quiet like if he can't talk. <laughs> he sat so still. And he just gave us a smile and he said, I don't know. And I didn't see him for a couple of years. And as time goes by, he came again and he sat in the back. And I think I asked him something. And he still keep that smile. But he didn't tell me yes. And he didn't tell me no. And I didn't see him again for a long time. <laughs> but why I say that? It's because nothing happened before it's that. It's years going by he was to come to speak. And I did not get him. The second time again, I don't know if you could remember, I still didn't get him. But this time we sat down myself and the executive board. There's to serve the Lord with a clean hand and a pure heart. Yes. And I hear the part from me, I know you're not going to dead again. <laughs> Amen. I'm going to dead again. So I try my best to walk right, to talk right, and do the things that is lawful and right in the sight of God. Because I really, really, really want to see him, and I really want to be with him. Today is nine years since my mother passed. And I know, like my brother says, she is in the arms of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because she was a wonderful, a beautiful woman. She loved the Lord. And she died peacefully. And today is nine years. 
God bless her soul. And may God keep you all, keeping on in the name of Jesus. Pastor, you would like to say something? You know the name of Jesus, Almighty name. Thank you, thank you again. Tomorrow night, we have.